So, the knockout stages are here of the tournament. I'm gonna predict the knockout stages now. I know I made another prediction video, but it's safe to say I don't think that's gonna happen, <laughs> like how I predicted it. I mean, I predicted Turkey to be semi-finals and I mean, they ended up being one of the worst teams in history on the Euros tournament, so yeah. <laughs> no, but now that I've watched pretty much all the teams play, I probably can do this better. I know I can do this better, so I'm gonna do that today. Belgium, Portugal, I mean, what a banger of a game. Portugal is really good side, but they have been disappointing. Just about one from Hungary, I know it was 3-0, but they were really struggling that game. They lost against Germany and against France as well, didn't play that well. I think they can do a lot better. Belgium, on the other hand, also not been great. Against Russia, they played very, very poor, very sloppy. They lose the ball a lot when it's just easy play, like the, e like the easy pass next to them. They miss that pass, you know? Like, they, they lose a lot of balls in midfield and in defense. Attacking-wise, though, they have been very good. And against Finland, they played a way better game. But, you're, I mean, you're playing against Finland. Belgium really needs to improve. But Kevin De Bruyne is back. Witzel might as well play. He's, they both are integral, I would say. Like, without them in the team, they're far worse. Because against Denmark as well, first half, poor. Kevin De Bruyne came on. Witzel came on. It was a different ball game. Do I think Belgium's gonna win from Portugal though? I think they still will. Because Portugal hasn't impressed me that much. They've looked not as solid defensively as I expected them to be. Attacking wise as well, it's not been great. Belgium is in good form attacking wise going forward. In the back and in midfield, they've been sloppy, but I think that can improve. And they've won all games, so they're more confident going into this game, I think. So Belgium's gonna take this one for me. Then Italy, Austria. For me, Italy has been the best team in the tournament so far. I think it's safe to say that they've outperformed everyone. They now didn't lose 30 games in a row. So Italy is definitely stronger than Austria. Austria hasn't been great. Like they, they don't create a lot of chances. They've played poor in their group games as well, I would say. So Italy, it's an easy win for Italy in my opinion, because Italy, I think they don't lack any quality. They've been good defensively, good going forward, good in midfield. They're a team, they're a unit and they're easily stronger. And they should win this game. Okay, France, Switzerland. I mean, as well, France hasn't really impressed me. They can do a lot better. Because with these players, you have to dominate games. You know, they drew against Hungary. Fair play to Hungary. Because I thought Hungary played fantastically. And they did everything they could. But unfortunately, you're not through. Against Switzerland, though, I think they will still win. Because Switzerland also... I've not been that impressed by Switzerland. So France will take this win for me. Then we've got Spain versus Croatia. Both teams have been disappointing, I would say. Croatia, I mean, obviously they got second in the group, but they they look a bit lost. They, they, don't, they don't have that intensity about them. They don't have that hunger and that will to win, it seems. So I'm not sure about them. I think on paper they're a good team, but it hasn't really come out yet. Yes, they won against Scotland, but... I'm not sure. The, I think Spain has played well in some games. Against Sweden, I think they played well, but going forward, poor. That's like that's the problem of Spain going forward and scoring goals. And with I said it with Alvaro Morata as a striker, I don't think he's good enough. And I mean he's kind of proven that that he isn't made for this level. Can Spain score goals against Croatia, who is a better side? You know, they struggled to score against Sweden, which is a good side. They did score against Slovakia, but Slovakia is obviously a poorer side than Croatia. But Croatia as well going forward hasn't offered that much. But I think based on what we've seen, of what, you know, what we've seen from Spain from the last game against Slovakia, for example, I think Spain will get through, but they will struggle against Croatia. This, like, they will really struggle. It will be a tight game. Sweden against Ukraine. I am impressed by Sweden. I think Sweden has done very well. Ukraine, Ukraine hasn't been that great either. I think they played quite decent against the Netherlands though. But Sweden takes this win for me. I think Sweden has been a good side so far in this tournament. And they offer a lot going forward defensively. They've been solid as well. Olsen has been having a good tournament. Uh, and I didn't expect that to happen. So yeah, Sweden will take that win for me. Then the other banger of the round of 16, England versus Germany. This is a tight game. Germany also hasn't really looked great in the back. England, however, didn't concede a goal yet. So three clean sheets. They have been very solid in the back. Germany hasn't. 
going forward as well, they offer a bit more, but against Portugal, for example, everything went through Gosens. Everything went through the left side. And as well, Nabri hasn't really found his form yet. Leroy Sané hasn't really found his form yet. So I'm not 100% sure about the German team yet. England as well, however, at moments they've looked class and they've looked like a real contender. But overall, it's been disappointing. You know, especially going forward, creating chances. Because they they slow a bit down when they're when they're going forward and they struggle to break teams down but defensively they have been really solid but they do allow opponents to get into the game and that could be dangerous with germany because they've allowed every opponent to kind of play their way as well and to have chances and to you know get into the game they've allowed that and that's not great but i still think we've seen more from england to be confident that England can beat Germany but it will be a tight game. Netherlands, Czech Republic. Now both. Czech Republic I think is a good country. I think they're stronger than any team Netherlands has faced so far in the group. Netherlands have done way better than I expected because I expected them to struggle to get out of the group and they got three wins so fair play to that. Netherlands again they have showed good form. I'm still not sure about the team. I still think you know when we get against when we go up against a really good side, we will really struggle. We have the individual players to still make a difference. And I get that now, you know, even though I really don't like Frank de Boer and I don't like his tactics, we still have the individual players like Frankie de Jong, like Memphis Depay, Matthijs de Ligt, Gini Wijnaldum, who can make a difference. I think we will win against Czech Republic, but it will be a struggle. Czech Republic is going to fight for it because they are a fighter team. They are strong team and it will be a tough game. Wales against Denmark, both not been that impressive. Wales has to rely a lot on Ramsey and Bill. Denmark also not that impressive, but they'll do it. I think uh, like I think what has to do with them is what the Ericsson incident obviously has played on their minds. And I think that probably made them stronger and you could see that in the first half against Belgium because they were playing really, really well. So Denmark has been stronger against Finland. They obviously lost because of the Ericsson incident, I would say. So yeah, Denmark will make it through. Then Belgium, Italy. Italy is gonna win that one for me. Italy is better. I think Italy is a better team. They don't seem to have a weak spot. Whereas Belgium does seem to have a weak spot. And I think Belgium will struggle to break Italy down. France against Spain. I think that will be an easy win for France. I don't think Spain's good enough to beat France. Sweden, England. That will be a tough game, but England should win it. England definitely should win it. So I'm going to go with England. Netherlands, Denmark. You know, I think this is a closer game than many would expect. I think a lot of people might say because of how Netherlands did in the group stage that Netherlands would beat Denmark as well. But this will be a tough game. I think Netherlands will still win. But I think Netherlands still with individual quality, probably better. So I'll go with Netherlands. Who would have expected that Netherlands in the semi-final? But I mean, they've got... It's not the toughest road to the final. If they were, for example, like Belgium, they're, they're f Italy, France. That's a tough match, but I've been most impressed by Italy. So Italy wins this one for me as well. Okay, and then the other semi-final, England versus Netherlands. England obviously has been disappointing. Netherlands has been better than expected. Can Netherlands make the final or will England make the final? It really depends on whether England will get their shooting boots on and whether they actually start scoring goals and whether they can create something i think Grealish has looked great and they have to play Grealish. i think england overall as a team as a unit is still better than the netherlands like so i will go with england and that they can win but it will be a tight game i think so then the final italy england and that one italy will take i think italy will win the euros they've been very very impressive i've really really enjoyed watching them as well and i I think they're just the strongest. I don't think any team can beat them when they're playing like this and how solid they've been and how hard they work. Like they put so much pressure onto opponents. Every opponent has struggled to play well against Italy so far. I mean, you could argue, have they really played a good team? Not sure, but I think they will still be strong enough. Like they've impressed me most so far. And I think every other country hasn't been that impressive and has looked leaky but Italy is just strong solid consistent and I think that will win them the tournament so Italy will win against England here that's my prediction let me know what you think I'm very excited for the knockout stages like this is always where a tournament gets interesting you know because now there's a lot to play for 
and all these games they will have fight spirit and it will be interesting to see but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and i will see you guys later for another video bye bye I live in the moment.